Here I am, returned again. Well? Your words have wrought their full purpose. I have done his business. He tried to deny his heart was touched, but when I told him I came from you, he was immediately dumbfounded and confused. I do not believe he will come here anymore. I want you to tell me. I much fear the contrary and that he will still give us more trouble. And why do you fear this? You had hardly left the house when going to the window to take a breath of air. I saw a young man at yonder turning who first came, most unexpectedly, to wish me good morning. On a part of this impertinent man, then threw into my chamber box, enclosing a letter, sealed like a love letter. I meant at once to throw it after him, but he had already reached the end of the street. I feel very much annoyed at it. Just see the trickery and rascality. It is my quick duty to have this box and letter sent back to this detestable lover. For that purpose, I need someone. For I dare not virtue to ask yourself. Oh, on the contrary, darling. This proves all the more your love and faithfulness. My heart joyfully accepts this task. You oblige me in more ways than I could tell you. Take it then. Well, let's see what he dared to write to you. Heavens, take care not to open. Why so? Will you make him believe it is I? A respectable girl ought always to refuse to read any letters a man sends her. The curiosity which she thus portrays shows a secret pleasure in listening to gallantries. I think it right that this letter should be peremptorily returned to Valerie unopened, that he may the better learn this day the great contempt which my heart feels for him, so that his passion may from this time lose all hope and never more attempt such a transgression. Of a truth, she is right. Your virtue charms me, as well as your discretion. <laughs> I see my lessons have borne fruit in your mind. You make yourself worthy of being my wife. Still, I do not like to stand in the way of your wishes. The letter is in your hands. You can't open it. Oh no, far from it. Your reasons are too good. I go to acquit myself of the task you impose upon me. I have likewise to say a few words quite near and will then return hither to set you at rest. What news, Baraccio? I came yonder from a great supper. The prince, your brother, is royally entertained by Leonardo. Uh, and I can give you intelligence of an intended marriage. Well, will it serve for any model to build mischief on? What is he for a fool that should betroth himself to unquietness? Mary, it is your brother's right hand. Who? The most exquisite Claudio. Even he? Uh, proper squire. And who? And who, which way looks he? Mary, on hero, the daughter and heir of Leonardo. A very forward March chick. How came you to this? Being entertained by my friend Margaret, outside near the garden, comes by the prince and Claudio, hand in hand in sad conference. They had by the willow, and there heard it agreed upon that the prince should rule Hero for himself, and having obtained her, give her to Count Claudio. Come, come, let us hither. This may prove food for my displeasure. Young startup has all the glory of my overthrow. Well, if I could cross him in any way, I bless myself every way. Are you sure that will assist me? To the death, my lord. Let us then to the great supper. The cheer is all the greater that I am subdued. Well, the cook were of my mind. Shall we go prove what's to be done? I'll wait upon your lordship. 